welcome back and thank you so much for watching. For today's video, I am doing a first impression and a review of the new Laura Mercier, what is it called? <laughs> Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Foundation. It's this one right here, the new one that she just came out with. So basically in this video, you will see my first impression and also a review at the very end. I wore this foundation for about, I would say, maybe eight to nine hours to see how it lasts throughout the day. So yeah, I tested this foundation out for you guys. So if you wanna see my first impression and a review of the new Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Long Wear Foundation, then please keep watching. Okay, so let's test out this foundation. So I have this in the shade 3W1 Dusk. And so this is what the packaging looks like. Um, it comes in a nice glass bottle and oh, well I didn't even notice this until now. I thought it was just a black cover, but it has like a nice zebra print. It's just cool, I like that. I had to just guess my color online, so hopefully this will match. So like I do with all my foundation reviews, I'm just gonna read what it says on the back of the box. So it says, Laura's longest wearing foundation seamlessly fuses to skin with a weightless layer that looks, fits, and feels like a second skin. Moving with your every move, skin enhancing pigments fuse with ultra long wear for most modern flawless. Okay. <laughs> Medium to full coverage that's naturally you leaves a matte finish that's never dull or flat. So I'm gonna use a beauty blender on one side of my face and a brush on the other to see which one I like better. Uh, so yeah, let's get started. I'm just going to shake it up a little bit. Um, pump some on the back of my hand. I don't know how much I need, but I'm just gonna take this much. I think this was about like three pumps? Was it three or four? Something like that. I have been breaking out a lot. I don't know what's going on, but I guess in a way it's good. So we can see how this foundation covers. <laughs> well, it's not really good that I'm breaking out, but you know what I mean. I'm just gonna go ahead and blend this side with the Beauty Blender. Well, actually, this is the L'Oreal Beauty Sponge, but yeah. Oh, by the way, I used the Dr. Brand's Pores No More Primer before applying this. I really like how this is blending in. The color matches really well, so I just need a mirror to see up front. Ooh, I really like the finish so far of this foundation. It looks really flawless. And it covered my blemish pretty well too, right over here. I wonder if this is buildable. We'll see. It does not feel heavy at all. Um, let's try it with a brush. So I'm just using this e.l.f. brush. This is one of my favorite brushes to use for foundation. I think the brush is giving a little bit more coverage than the sponge side. And it is a matte finish like it mentioned, but it's not super matte, so it doesn't look really cakey or anything. I do have combination skin most of the time, but sometimes my face can get really dry as well. <laughs> so yeah. Oh my god, I'm really liking this foundation so far. I feel like this is gonna last all day just by the way it's sitting on my face right now. Just have that feeling. Now, do I like it more with the brush or the sponge? I would say if you want a little bit more of a full coverage, then go with the brush because it does give you a little bit more coverage than the sponge. But the sponge is not bad either. I would probably just use the sponge um, because I just like applying my foundation with a sponge. Um, and it gives me like medium coverage with the sponge, which is not bad. I'm going to do one more layer just to see if this is buildable. So I'm actually really feeling this foundation. I love the finish. Oh, 
and have a hair here. It's matte, but it doesn't look so cakey or dull. So I really like this. Yes. Of course, we're gonna wear it wear it throughout the day and see how it is. But we are just gonna do concealer. Um, if you have seen my previous like foundation reviews that I've done, you know that I like to see how my concealer goes on top of that foundation and that is how I like to decide wow this is nice you guys are probably like stop saying wow give me something negative <laughs> but I honestly don't have anything negative to say about this foundation so far um, of course I'm gonna test it out throughout the day and see how it lasts the concealer went on really nicely really smoothly I didn't have any issues um, so yeah I'm really liking it so far let me just finish the rest of my face and I will be right back okay so I just finished the rest of my makeup and I really like this foundation. I feel like I didn't even need to set my face with powder, um, but I guess if you're really oily, then yes, but if you have dry skin or your combination, then I don't think you really need to set your face with powder. I just feel like my contour went on really nice with this foundation, so I don't know. I'm really liking it so far, but I will give you guys my full review later on. Let me just tell you guys what the time is right now. So it's currently 11.05 a.m. I have some editing to do and then I'm probably gonna go get some wings. I don't know. But yeah, I will check back with you guys maybe, I don't know, I'm gonna try to wear this foundation for at least eight hours because that's usually how long I wear my foundation, well, my makeup in general. Um, for eight hours or less. So yeah, I will check back in with you guys in just a bit So I'm back to give you guys my full review of this foundation and it is currently 10 10 p.m. Wow, I wore this makeup for a really long time. Usually I don't but I just got home I had a couple of things to do. So Yeah, so I wore this foundation for what about 11 hours. Yeah, so that's a really long time um, but let me tell you, I love this foundation. Um, it held up really, really nicely throughout the day. I usually get oily on my cheeks and my chin especially, but honestly with this foundation, I don't have a lot of oiliness. I didn't have to powder throughout the day and it's still looking really, really nice. So it's still going strong after 11 hours. I think it's beautiful and I would totally recommend this foundation to you guys. This foundation retails for $59. You can purchase it at Sephora. Um, and I got it in the shade Dusk 3W1 and it matched really nicely with my skin tone. Also, I forgot to mention to you guys that when I did put this foundation on, it did not feel sticky at all, so it dried down pretty quickly. And um, it didn't really rub off a lot. Um, it rubbed off a little bit around here because I did eat and usually that happens. Um, so yeah, I'm totally fine with that. I am very impressed with this foundation. I think Laura Mercier did a really good job. Also, I feel like this foundation doesn't really transfer, which is always a plus. I think that's pretty much it. Honestly, I don't have anything negative to say about this foundation. I hope this was helpful and informative. If you like these kind of videos, then please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. And I will see you all in my next video.